You know what time it is. Oh, it's laundry time. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another uh, motivational Monday. Fluff and chat, chat and chore. I'm gonna fold my laundry and tell you about that time I was in Playboy. <laughs> Seems like a reasonable combo. So if you have any chores that you need to do and you've been putting off, like I clearly have been putting off, uh, pause this video and then uh, hop back in and let's do this thing together. If you're new to my channel, hi, hello, this is an interesting intro in, but I have started doing these sort of motivational cleaning videos, uh, sort of in the style of a podcast where I just chat as I fold and hopefully uh, I'm keeping you company while you're doing something similar or you're just sitting and enjoying and I'm so jealous. Today I thought it would be fun to talk about that time I was in Playboy, which if you're new here or you haven't been around forever, might be a surprise to you, especially considering what's happening right now. But it is true, the year was, oh God, it was a while ago. It had to have been at least six years ago. I'll have to like check on the exact date of that um, and someone out there can verify that for me, but it was definitely a while ago. No, it might've been closer to like eight years ago. Oh God, time is, time is a bitch. Anyways, um, I had just broken up with a long-term boyfriend and I was obviously doing YouTube as I've been doing for what seems like forever. Um, and I went on this trip with my mom, which ironically is the trip that I just got back uh, from. If you watched last week, I kind of talked about it. Anyways, it's kind of like the spiritual retreat. My mom is in that space and she gets free trips and um, she teaches classes. And so I continued to go with her on these trips. I also took a solo trip uh, there once and I made a whole video about that if you're interested um, in solo tripping. It was really quite an amazing experience. Anyways, this is why I thought about the story and about sharing this with you because uh, I was there this past weekend and I remember the time I went there after a breakup and you know, it's kind of a good opportunity to sort of heal and uh, turn off the phone and be in nature and meditate. And so I was like coming back from like a meditation or something, something super woo woo. And I checked my email and I got an email from someone at Playboy and I was like, this can't, this, this is not a real thing. But as it turns out, it really was a real thing. Basically, they were doing a series. This was for their like online um, blog or like their uh, Playboy Online, I guess, um, where they were doing like 15, 10, I don't remember how many of their, there were of us, um, but like highlighting YouTubers. And so it was like a really fun mixed bag of people. Uh, some I knew like Nikki Limo and some I didn't know, but it was basically, they were doing like spreads with all of us and little articles about us. And they even were doing like a little video element, probably trying to like promote their social media at the time. So they were using us to do that. Um, and so I read through the email and like my jaw literally dropped because it's just so absurd that I would even be considered for this for so many reasons, but mostly because like, I'm not even in like the modeling space. I'm five one, like, what do you want from me? Um, so anyways, uh, as it turns out, I got more information and they weren't doing like a nude situation. It was basically like, you'll be in bathing suits or underwear, lingerie. Um, and so, you know, come on down, let's do this thing. So I quickly was like, turned to my mom and told her what was going on. And she was like, you have to do it. And I was like, I have to do this, right? Like, what an experience, what a thing to tell people. Also, I was like newly single, so I was just like, yes, this is my like way to like empower myself and like invigorate myself. Uh, not to mention, I mean, when you're getting back in the dating game, ain't nothing like tell telling someone you were in Playboy. Anyways, so um, I was like a little bit nervous about what people would think, which was like, come on, we're all nervous about what people think, just generally speaking, and I'm trying to work on not caring so much. But back then, I cared, especially like my dad and stuff. I was like, oh God, what would they think? Even though I knew it was going to be quote unquote tasteful, I do still think there was like a little bit of stigma around it. It's like, 
you know, the stigma that comes possibly with doing any sort of like adult content stuff. Um, so, you know, I had the conversation with my dad and he was like super supportive and I was always just like, it's not nude. It's not nude. Not to say like doing nude is bad. In fact, you know, like don't think uh, in t during tough times, I haven't thought about uh, what it would feel like to do an OnlyFans. I think ultimately for me, that's not the path that um, I meant to go on, but I totally understand a lot of like influencers have actually made that shift um, and have extended their online careers and like respect. Anyways, so I finally decided, okay, I'm going to do this. Talk to my management, like the whole thing great, we're going to do this. This is kind of like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Plus my whole thing was like, you know what, when I'm 90 years old or now almost 40 years old, I can look back and be like, Hey, remember when my boobies weren't down to my toes? Um, so, you know, all signs were kind of pointing to like, yeah, girl, just do this and enjoy the experience. So cut to I'm starting to have conversations with them about like how this content is going to look like basically we all kind of themed hours around what was like kind of going on in our life and at the time I was working on my show party girl so I wanted to theme it kind of around princess parties and sort of like that kind of theme and it was all going to be shot in my house which uh, I think made me ultimately a little bit more comfortable. And then I learned that it was going to be an all female staff. So um, the wardrobe department was female, the makeup was female and the photographer was. And that like brought me so much comfort because I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever done any sort of photo shoot, even just like our, at our wedding doing photos, like there's so much pressure around it. And it's like such an uncomfortable thing. Um, unless you're like a pro, I don't know. I'm always like uncomfortable, even at like headshots. Like it takes me a long time to get comfortable. So I was pretty nervous. Um, but finding out that I was going to be able to shoot it here and I was going to have all women around me was like a lot of comfort. So anyways, cut to or it's coming up and I don't know what I'm going to be wearing, which is super scary. Like they didn't show me anything ahead of time. And like, let's be honest, I was about to like bear a lot of my body and this was like before I was doing bathing suit videos like now I'm a lot more comfortable uh, even when I'm just uncomfortable I'm like a lot more comfortable in my body on camera but also like when I shoot like those cup sheet videos which I put one up last Friday if you missed it um, I have a little bit more control of like the camera angles and this and that so in this situation, I was like, oh my God, I, I have no idea what I'm going to be wearing. Like, I know nothing. Like, I have no control. I won't be behind the lens. Like, there was a lot of, like, fear that started to, like, bubble up on top of the fact that I would have to, like, show my bod. And I'm, you know, not the most comfortable doing that, just generally speaking. So anyways, the day arrives. We have plans that my manager is going to come by so she can kind of like keep an eye on my manager at the time, keep an eye if I was like uncomfortable or anything. But everyone came into the house and they were so warm and like, like it ain't no thing. Like we were just like all hanging out for the day. Meanwhile, I'm like in the room, like checking myself in the mirror, like a million bajillion times. Um, but they were so lovely and then I remember even like saying like, hey, I just feel like I'm a little bit like not as comfortable in my stomach area, this and that. They're like, oh my God, girl, if you only knew like the actual playmates are all like very curvy and like they all feel the same way you feel and that made me feel like so much better. Also, this was before like, um, you know, this was kind of before like the trend was a thicker look. This was a kind of when like super skinny was what we thought was in. Just ugh, a frustrating experience. So anyways, this is before like a lot of like, you know, positive body movements and things like that. So, you know, the added pressure of that and my fear about even talking about that with these people, but they like assured me that everything would be fine. So. Anyways, we just started shooting and like I, the whole time I think I was like not sure how I was going to look and how I was going to feel once it all came out, but they were all very positive and the pictures turned out awesome. Um, 
they did definitely like Photoshop my arms in a lot of them. I could tell like they slimmed out my arms like major. Um, and I think they probably like smoothed any sort of like um, imperfections that I had, which definitely I have cellulite because I'm a human. Um, so I guess I was a little disappointed in that because I'm trying, I don't do that stuff like on my own. Like I don't Photoshop my photos before I put them on Instagram. I'll just like filter them if anything, but I don't know how to use Facetune or anything of that sort. Well, actually one time there was a picture uh, from the day we were engaged, I think, um, that I really liked, but my arm looked like super thick in it. And so I sent it to a friend of mine who does Facetune. And I was like, can you just Facetune this for me? And then she like sent it back and I was like, that's weird. I I get it and like, do you if that's what you do. But like, I don't know, I guess since I've been putting myself out there for so long, I just try I'm trying to be as realistic as possible and not set expectations for other people or make other people think you got my point anyways I feel like I'm rambling as one does in these videos but um yeah so the pictures looked awesome but definitely definitely photoshopped I mean not mad about them now um but I will preface this when you look at them um they were definitely photoshopped and then they made a video which was kind of cute and a little bit weird and like you know some of the pictures I'm just like oh who is that lady trying to be sexy but they turned out super fun um, and once in a while they pop up in like a memory or something on my phone and I'm just like damn girl if only you knew your power back then if only you were as confident as you appear or as confident as I would be now looking back at that like if that was me at the time I'd be like yes now so just um a good reminder I don't know if you guys ever feel like this but like I a lot of my friends have this similar um, thought it's like oh we we look back at pictures of us in our 20s or even like five years ago and we thought like we thought we were so chunky or we thought we looked so ugly or whatever like whatever mean things you say to yourself because we all do it unfortunately um, but we're like now we're like but now looking back oh my god we look so good like had we only appreciated it uh, there's a lot of that going on so I'm trying to remind myself as I look back at those old pictures and have those thoughts to try to feel that now it's hard though y'all I went on this trip like I told you and um, I've been going there for years with my mom so I was kind of like tripping out because I've had so many experiences obviously like that breakup and then getting to do Playboy and then I remember like going on that trip by myself and then I remember going on a trip at one point when Jeff and I were just starting to talk like so many different chapters of my life spent in that place and so it was interesting this time around I have like definitely had the realization of like oh my god I am not young anymore like I'm not the young one here anymore because there's a lot of mother and daughters that go there and I saw this one like set of mother and daughters who um the daughter was like I think I found out she was like 21 or something she was like so radiant and like youthful and like she really just kind of was shining and like she was very noticeable because she, she just had that like youthful like energy around her and I had this moment of like oh my god that was me here at one point now that's not me and oh my god I'm getting old and I like took a picture and I like saw some lines on my face and I was just kind of like going down this rabbit hole um so I'm now reflecting on that feeling and being like you know what no I'm proud of who I am now and I'm trying to own what I am now even though you have bad days hard days days where you look in the mirror and you're like oh my god who is that um I'm trying to think back to the fact that I felt that kind of feeling when I was doing the shoot and now I look at it and I'm like damn girl so I'm hoping that like in 10 years I'm gonna look back at myself now and be like damn girl and so I hope in this moment I can take a little bit more of that damn girl and enjoy myself in the moment did any of that freaking make sense <laughs> I feel like that was just like a little bit of motivation to love ourselves in the moment and also to remind ourselves of all the crazy stuff we've done in the past. I mean, legit, sometimes I forget 
that I was in Playboy. Not technically, it was Playboy Online, but you know, all the pictures were stamped with the Playboy bunny on it, the official logo. So I'm gonna take that. I remember there was a few people that didn't get asked to do it, which, you know, I don't, who knows how they selected it. I don't think it was any sort of insult for those that weren't asked to do it. It was probably just more about like whoever was seeking out talent only knew about so many people. So anyways, but I knew a few people were like, it wasn't even the real Playboy and they didn't even do the full spread. So, you know, there's always gonna be a hater out there. But the lesson of today is don't let that hater be yourself. You should be your biggest cheerleader. Easier said than done, but I'm working on it, y'all. I am working on it. Anyhow, that's sort of that story. There wasn't like so much to it other than like, then I started dating and doing like online dating. And, uh, you know, people would like Google you and they would see that. And let me just say my dating life was off the hook at that point in my life. <laughs> uh, I didn't use any of those pictures in my profile, I don't think. That would have been pretty bold of me. I definitely did not. Um, but when that news came out, that was kind of fun. It was always a fun thing to drop on a first date. Memories, you know? And now look at me. I'm a married old lady folding laundry on the internet. Wow. Oh, you know what? Ironically, there's a like a big portion of the shoot was like on this bed. So wow, how things have changed. And you know what? I don't regret any of them. I feel like they're all part of the stepping stones in my life. And so um, yeah, here you go. My latest photo shoot. Yeah. <laughs> I hope this was fun. Um, if you guys want to know more about like certain specific things, someone keeps asking me about, um, to talk about like past jobs that I've had. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I've had so many like part-time jobs, like so many. For a while there, I was working like several at a time. Um, and I definitely like would love to share those with you. Or if there's just anything else that you've seen uh, in my time that you were curious about or want to hear more about, um, I'd love to share it with you guys. So. There you go. I guess I didn't have that much to fold today. I'm trying to stay a little bit more on top of it and not let the pile get so high. Um, although I am looking at a pile in there. That is reached new heights. So I think I spoke too soon. <laughs> but I guess we'll just continue to do these. And if you want to see more, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and stick around. We've got a week full of um, videos. Who knows what they're gonna be. I started planning some things out today and I'm just excited about where this is all going. So thanks for being a part of this community and um, I hope this motivated you in some sort of a positive way today. So um, yeah, that's it. All right, you guys, now I gotta put all this away. That's my actual least favorite part, but it does not make for a good video. Good luck putting yours away and I'll see you tomorrow.